like you enough. For what? For a lady like you to accept my proposal to marry me. Your types are not easily come by. Stop kidding me. Far from it. Far. Ah, I'm late already. I have to get to. Daddy doesn't like us keeping late at all. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry for taking much of your time. Anyway, my regards to him. To who? Your dad, of course. I can't do that. He's not aware of the relationship. Not to talk of giving his consent. So for now. You can't have anything to do with him. Definitely, your dad is too tough. Mm, although he's not my biological father, but he's my spiritual father and guardian. But he's not what you think he is. Then, since he's not your father, what's his stress? What's his problem? What's his headache? What are you saying? I can't allow you to insult my father like that. Uh, Get yes, away! Ali. Ali! I'm sorry! Ali, I'm sorry, please! A pillar of his destiny Got my choice, oh Lord Did the right as I fall Into decorated angel That choice of mine Is a pillar of his destiny That choice of mine Is a pillar of his destiny Got my choice, oh Sorry for what happened yesterday. I promise it won't re repeat itself again. No problem. Just that I can't let someone insult my father like that under any circumstances. Anyway, life goes on. Color is bound to happen. But mature minds use it as a means of wasting stronger in love. Seems I'm getting to know the reason why I can't stop loving you. You have such a broad and intelligent mind, I can't comprehend. Anyway, have you informed him? Not at all. But that is the major problem. Because whatever he says is going to be the final. Yeah, but remember, you've promised to marry me. Yes, I know. But what if he says something contrary to it? Well, I believe he won't say something negative. But what if he objects you getting married to me? Mm, he can't object. It's normal for him to pray about it. But since you are a born-again Christian, 
God will definitely speak favorably about you. Are you saying that man can hear from God? And you mean God can reveal everything to him? What are you afraid of? Are your ways not right with God? No, no, no. Not like that. I mean, if he hears everything that I said yesterday, he might not like me marrying you. Uh, uh, not like that. Are you expecting God to be telling him everything someone says about him always? As you see me, at times I'm afraid of the prophet because they can see a lot. Anyway, all is well. Can we go now? No problem. Just that, don't get me annoyed today. I promise, it won't happen again. Ken, okay. it's not well at all. How? If God should show the man all your character, I mean, you look at it yourself. You drink, you smoke, and your girlfriend is as numerous as anything, even up to now. Be ready for sack, for sack later. For I'm sure that is what Ellen is going to give you straight. God is not a man. I believe we will not show him everything. But come to think of it, if he shows him my parents, seeing them how devoted they are, he will surely give his approval. <laughs> Ken, you are kidding me. When a man is the body of wisdom, he does nothing but foolish things. And what has the Christian life of your parents got to do with you? But let me advise you. Let her go. I'll go out there and marry your type. I'm sure. If you don't do that, you will definitely alter. her. You can't alt me. Are you sure? Of course. He's a caring guy. Loving and intelligent. Hmm. He's exactly the kind of man I have been praying for. <laughs> He's my answered prayer. Hmm. Only that I'm worried about him. Telling you to come and visit him. That's true. But I guess he has no even agenda. I hope so. I'm confused. Having six men at a time and no one to help out. What is that his opinion? <laughs> As usual. Pray and continue to wait. I'm tired of waiting. So old. Aside spirituality. One should be able to choose among the six. Mm. Looking at it, they are all intelligent, brilliant, and God fearing. But when we look at Stanley, he's radiant and a young, bright star. Marrying him will help my music ministry. You don't mean it. He's the richest among the six. There? No. Let's follow the protocol that daddy has laid down. You know when a child climbs a tree with his own discretion and he falls, he gets all the blames. But when he climbs a tree with the discretion of an adult, then all the blame goes to the adult. I'm afraid. Of what? You know, I have agreed to marry him. Daddy will be disappointed. Then if that should be the case, then you have no other choice than to lie. I should like my disciple. Mm -hmm. It's just 
Hello, love. King, how has your day been? I'm in front of your house. And what is he saying now? He's outside. And what the rest of you? She's very happy. She says she will be with us in a moment. But, Ken, you have to compose yourself. You are not serious. I'm not drunk. Are you sure? I will compose myself. If you think I'm acting under the influence of alcohol, you had better be. I said, where to? Where are you going? Are you sure she had what you said? You were saying something the other time. She had what I said. Maybe our so called father is in the house. Ellen, I would like to see you. Janet, you can go. Please, you can help me with the drink. I don't know why this kind of pretty girl is. Putting herself into this kind of bondage. Ellie, I cherish you so much because I see some virtues and qualities in you that are beyond my imagination. Thanks, sir. Can I go now? Not so fast. Um, I would like to tell you a story. Story? Yes. You can get a child. The story is about uh, an old man that went to the farm with the grandson and the granddaughter on getting to the farm. The father gave them instruction that they should go and find snail. So they went. Not too long to that time, the granddaughter shouted, I have found a snail. Not quite long again, the grandson shouted, I have found a snail. So later in the day, when they got to the house in the evening, the father gave them instruction that they should go and fry the snail because they are going to heat the snail with gari and cold water. Immediately, the grandson complained that, ah, Daddy, I'm just lying. I didn't find any, 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 any snail. And the father said, ah, I've made up my mind that you are going to eat that snail tonight. So, he gave instruction to two of them. So, the granddaughter, he said, Go and fry the snail and eat it with gari and cold water. And gave instruction to the grandson that you go and fry your lies and eat it. 
Elin, what can you say about my story? Wow. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, but you told me you're not drunk. I'm not. I'm Ken, what's wrong with you? I'm okay. How did you do? Um, hey, uh, 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 it's time to go. Dear Janet, errors and mistakes are common signs for a man that is in rush to take decisions about his destiny. So I'm not in a rush, but I just guess. You guess? It goes beyond guessing. A man that is confused should not take decision because i reject that in jesus name i know you don't know what i'm feeling i have six men proposing to me at this time i don't know what you want me to do your plight is quite understood listen remember you have been praying for the past three years for a man to come and propose to you and no single man has ever come to you but now, God has answered my prayers. Here are their names, their state of origins, profession, and everything you want to know about them. Help me pray on them and choose the one that is right for you. We are very grateful for the fatherly roles you played in our life. Who can just say you are not our father? But, sir, we have seen the love of our lives. We are caring and godly, enough to cater for our future. Sir, please, let us go into marriage. Seeing a man with oaths and cutlass, Heading towards the forest. And we are now asking him, Are you going to the farm or you are going to the river? Do you still need to bother God? You knew the answer already. Daddy, you are too superstitious. I you spiritualize all matter, making it complex always. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you have my blessing already. Is that all? What else? Blessing is blessing. Thank you, sir. God, what you are trying to do is sin against God. Please, wait more. I wallow in the sin for many years. I've experienced different tastes that world can offer. I got to know Christ four years ago. Since then, I've stopped flirting around with ladies. I know, you have tried. 
But we have just six months to our wedding. Please wait more. Hey, no problem. If that is what pleases you. Well, I think I should go back to my former, former method. And what way is that? Masturbation. I mean masturbation. It is sinful, my dear. I know. I know. That's why I need you. You are demanding for sex as a way out of masturbation. You know that sex out of marriage is deadly. No. Not so. Helene. In as much I'm going to marry you. Just do this for me. But it is wrong. I know. Just once. See this as a means of saving a soul. I have kept myself. Up to now. How will my spiritual father feel? And how will God feel? Leave God and Pastor Godfrey out of this. Just see this as a means of saving a soul. A soul. Helene, please. Please, please, please. Helene, please. Just one. No! I won't do it. Daughter. Hope there is no problem. No, sir. Not at all. All is well. You see, <clears throat> I've come to the realization that many people tend to seek advice from those that they know will give them the advice that will fit in into what they intend to do. Come to think of it. If a man loves to eat feces and goes to a dog, say, dog, is it good to eat feces? What do you think the answer of the dog will be? The dog will definitely give an answer in favor of eating it. Fine. Therefore, beware of those dogs that are ready to scatter the sheep. Beware. Thank you, sir. One more thing. You cannot save another man. Whosoever that needs salvation and help should turn to Calvary because many mighty men of God, they have fallen into the pit in the process of removing someone from that same pit. Daddy, but you told us that love is very important. And that we should help our friends. Very good. But not to the detriment of your Christian faith. My daughter, do you believe you can save another woman being? You can save him. That is the center message of Christ. Are you saying the message of Christ is that I should use my body to save him? Oh, the Bible tells us about that greatest love of laying down one's life for another. But that is blood covenant. Making blood covenant with your husband to be. Now tell me, if not him, who else do you intend doing it with? Let me tell you, if Ken did not tell you, and he contacted the sis, and at the end you marry each other, then he will definitely transfer it to you. Don't you know that? That is true. God is not an extremist. Like our father of faith has been told him. My husband is a deliverer minister. And we have says countless of time during our courtship. In fact, we even have bought 
If not, you will have impregnated someone else. And at the end, you will not marry me. Look at me now. I'm enjoying my marriage. And at the same time, I use my body to save it. Did you say countless of times? <laughs> that means it's not a mistake. Yes. As a young minister, with great fish ahead of him, ladies flock around him. And it is my duty as his future wife to save him. That is my first mission in his life. And I didn't fail. But it is a sin. That is why we call him God. He will surely forgive. Pastor Mrs. Owolabi, I believe in the forgiveness of God. But come to think of it, let's assume that the trumpet sound in the very act of committing that sin. What will happen? Doris, try to understand. Please understand manage, what? What manage, are you saying? Manage, uh -huh. Please. Ken, are you insane? What do you take me for? You are giving me a token of a thousand Vira. Having spent a whole night here with you, I can see that you are not ordinarily mad. You are seriously mad. You are mad. I understand. I understand. I'm sorry. Please manage this. It's just that. Is it just what? You said you needed the own service. Now you had it. And you don't want to pay me my money. Do you think it comes so easy? Even though you claim to be born again. Fool. to yourself talk I'm confused I don't know where to turn to I have to invite Doris overnight since you so you mean this lady slept here overnight Yeah. What's the problem? You! You had this marriage! My love... You're taking this to the extreme. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I know. It is your normal way of life to take every serious matter like joke. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you want? Before this marriage, you know I had a music ministry that is no longer in existence. And many a times I've talked to you about it. But you refuse to do something. The master is not happy with me. I'm getting rotten and deteriorating. Please, my dear. Release me for the master's use. Okay. I've had you. Um, please. Stand up. Okay, please, I want you to do something for me. Could you please make an inquiry on how much it's going to cost us to produce an album? Yes, I will. And then the possible profit. Can you do that for me? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, what should I be expecting you? Um, by the grace of God, I should be home in 10 days. 10 days. All right. And now, I want you to send your findings to my email. When I come back, we'll discuss it. All right. Thank you. I, I, I'm already late. Yeah. Let me help you with your suit.
Helene. Helene. But I thought you said um, Ken is um, a charming, caring man. Daddy, he used to. But what has happened to him? I can't explain it. The only rancor between us is the issue of the musical band. Musical band? He said I should form a musical band and produce a musical album. Ah, I see. So, he got married to you for monetary purpose? Daddy, are you trying to say that? Do you remember the day he proposed to you? You were having a city-wide musical concert that was organized by Janet Bound. And you remember also that you were the lead vocalist that very time. Because Janet took here. So he thought you are the one that composed the song and that you are the owner of the band, not knowing that it was Janet. So he got married to you to make merchandise of your talent. Impossible. I only assisted Janet in the band. Although I can sing, but I don't compose songs. Meanwhile, I don't have leading in that direction. It is well, it is well. I, I hope you have informed him that I'm around. I have informed him. Ha, huh, Daddy, let me offer you something to drink. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. Sorry for keeping you waiting, sir. Broken. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank Brother you. Ken. Yes, sir. What actually happened between you and your wife? My wife? You mean my wife? Yes, of course. Um, thank you, sir. I'm very grateful. God will increase you and anoint you more. Thereby making you great, sir. Amen. No demon, I mean, no demon will be able to conquer you. No demon will be able to conquer you, sir. Amen. Thanks for those prayers. What made you to beat your wife? Yes, sir. The Lord will increase you tremendously. I mean, the Lord will bless you tremendously, sir. Amen. I have not asked you to pray. What happened? Uh, sincerely speaking, sir, I'm sure my wife will have painted me black in your presence. But sincerely, she's at fault. I mean, can you believe, sir? Last week, I mean, this last week, my own wife, I mean, my own wife broke two glass of cups. Oh. Am I lying? Am I lying? This same breaking of cups still happened in this house yesterday. This yesterday. What still? Our food still tastes bitter. Okay, why? Why? What, am I lying? Um, Elin, please don't talk. Eh? Um, so, bro, Ken, is it the breaking of cups and all these things that you have enumerated that made you to beat your wife uh no sir not at all sir since you want me to tell you my mind i will sir i can't stand mediocrity my wife is not social she doesn't mix with people she doesn't meet mix with people she is completely cut off from her world <sighs> mediocrity daddy you said I should speak my mind. That is why I said she should at least find something doing. I mean, she should find something doing. That will make her a bit social. That will make her a bit social, sir. Something doing? Like what? Like what? Because she told me something different. And you are telling me something different. Daddy! This man is just saying things that never happened. I can't take this anymore. Daddy, see, 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 see the way she was. Ah, no, 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 I can't take this anymore, sir. 
See, she, he, the way she works out now. Um, Brother Ken, which one should we pick now? Is it the issue of mediocrity or the way she works? Everything. Everything, sir. Everything. Brother Ken, you are just shouting. See, what she told me is totally different from what you are saying. Eh, eh. I'm sure she would have explained everything to cover her own fault. All right. You are complaining about the way she works and the issue of not cooking and all of that. Are you saying that it is when you now beat her, the way you battered her, that we made her to work well or to be social? Tell me. I'm sorry about that, sir. I'm very sorry, sir. Brother Kane, you are sorry. Ah. The choice of man is a pillar of business today. The choice of man is a pillar of his destiny. What a twisted fate. My husband does not want me to do anything. Yet he travels every week. He does not even want to hear anything concerning my music ministry. Though, he gives me money. Even more than my needs. I'm not a mother of material things. I'm a person of grace. I must confess to you. I can only do my music ministry every morning in the bathroom. I'm fading away. I'm deteriorating. I need help. Now I know that this world is a mystery. My husband wants me to sing at all costs. I, I think we've missed it. Why should you say that? Daddy claimed that my husband just wanted to use me as an instrument. Came married me for business purpose. Though it is hard to believe that Ken could do such. But it is sad. When I realized that Ken is a drunkard, now I believe he is that drunkard at our gate that night. Though I could not recognize him that day, maybe because it was dark. Hmm. Your husband wants you to do what God is not sending you to do, and mine is standing as an obstacle. Sincerely, we are in a snare. What can we do now? I don't know. Come what may. No matter the offense of a child, the parents must find a way out for him during the raining days. Let's turn back to our disciple for help. He will surely help us. What have I done to your friend that is treating me this way? Forgive him. He will change for better. Do you know that your friend also drinks? So you are not surprised? Why should I be? Don't you know you make him do that? How? Yes. Ken only drinks when he's not happy. In fact, let me not deceive you. You are becoming his unhappiness. But this is my sincere advice for you. Help him. Save him from destroying himself. And I'm sure if you do, Ken will change for better. You mean I can help him? I can save him? Yes, you can. And I'm sure if you do that, it will be credited of you in heaven. Thanks for your advice. I must be on my way. Oh, wait, let me get my key. Commit fornication during our courtship to save him. And now, I have to do what is against the will of God just to save him. Huh. 
I have entered into a snare on our way. So, how's the trip this time around? Uh, splendid. Thank you very much. And thanks for your prayers. <sighs> um, dear, I received an alert of 750,000 naira in my account. And you are a depositor. So I was somehow surprised since we did not discuss anything that around that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um, it's for the music album we discussed. You mean I should go ahead with the music album? No, not that. You see, when I saw the estimate you sent to my email for the production of the album and the marketing stuff, I decided that every five months I was going to be giving you the equivalence. And that's exactly what I have started. I appreciate it. But dear, do you realize that money is not everything but fulfillment? Ah, what are you talking about? If you produce an album, are you not going to make money with it? Aren't you? Oh yes, you are. Uh, you see, as my wife, I don't want you to trouble yourself. I want you to relax. See, I will pay you the money. Something is missing here. What's that? Service to God. I am not agitating to produce an album. The God specifically told me that I would do that after a tense City World music concert in which I held four before our marriage. Now the fifth one cannot hold. And this year is almost ending. You knew that is my ministry before you marry me. And you also know what God is doing through this ministry. There, you see, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you something that you don't know today. I never married you because of music, um, ministry, or, or, or whatever. Who I saw at first was a godly and honest lady who on her own could manage a ministry of 20 members effectively. And I thought within me that marrying you uh, would be of help to me because I, I believe that you, you'll be able to manage my business for me. Uh, and um, I actually plan that um, with the help of God, that spreading our tentacles to other parts uh, of the world like South Africa, um, you'll be able to undo our branch here in Nigeria. And uh, you, you come to think of it, now all hands are on deck. Our branch in South Africa is going to commence fully very soon. We are going to take over Nigerians' branch. You see there, there is no time for music. There is no time for music. Let's do business. I'm rude. You've destroyed my life, my future, and my destiny. So you always wanted me as an administrator. I'm not the minister that God wants me to be. Oh God, why all this? <laughs> you, you, you see, you, you don't understand. And I want you to understand. I'm here, though I'm a bit late. I'm here with my pen and book. All right. What have you done with those ones that you have written before? It's not my fault. It's the fault of my husband. He does not want me to do anything that has to do with music. Maybe I'll do it without his consent. That is kicking against God's principle. But he's obstructing me. 
And I prayed before marrying him. Yes, you prayed. But did I give you go ahead? The servant of God that I placed over you. You sideline in, thinking you know better. Gospel according to St. Luke. There was a man that did not attend the marriage feast because of marriage. Open to the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 20. I just got married, so I can't come. The man lost his position because of marriage. Please, allow me to ignore him so that I can do this job. You can't. Many children of God will not make heaven because of their partner. That is, any child of God that marry wrongly has 80% risk of not enter into the kingdom of God. Go to the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 6. Because of this thing, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of the disobedience. Do you mean the wrath of God can come upon me? Yes. Every children of God that does not obey his master we face the wrath of God. Master, I'm very sorry. Janet, stand up. Master, why? You are banished from this encounter until you do something with the one that is with you. Master! Janet, go out. of our encounter. You've never shouted at me like this before. Please, I'm sorry. You are banished. Out! Maybe God can have mercy on me. Yeah, I can do something with the precious inspiration that he has given me. This is my musical jotting notes. I have scored most of the songs. You can go ahead and produce them. Although this is my destiny. But I'm giving it out free. Because I cannot fulfill it. I've tried so many times, but I'm defeated by my marriage. I can't forge ahead from here. One more thing. After producing it, please. Don't bother to bring any copy to me. Or show any sign of appreciation. From the bottom of my heart, I'm bidding my vision, glory, and destiny farewell. Please, undo with care. 